Damas y caballeros, mi viejo. All right, man, we're gonna do some questions. People were asking, I asked them online. We're gonna see uh, if you can answer them, all right? First question. Already? I've got like, I've got like 150. Oh, where did the questions come from, though? They come from everybody on Instagram. I asked them. Oh. Remember we took that photo that, and boomerang, and then everyone just started asking questions. Really? Welcome to the internet. Ciao. Dustin, ¿cómo te portabas cuando eras chico? Uh, how was Dustin when he was a little boy? Dustin was uh, very uh, smart. He was playful. He loved life. I mean, he he's my boy. <laughs> well, like, what do you mean? I, I loved life. What it was? Well, you just got into everything. You just uh, enjoyed everything. You you played hard. You know, he just he excelled in pretty much everything he did. I mean, six, seven years old, taking karate lessons, and you know, the uh, instructor just said, wow, your boy has a lot of discipline. And he does well at it. I remember this. Okay. ¿Cómo hiciste para tener un hijo tan lindo? What did you do to have such a beautiful child? I married my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and with your powers combined? They, we made this one. <laughs> ¿Hablas español? Do you speak Spanish? No, nope. I say hola, we, oui. say, sí. sí. say, no hablo español, guacho. No, español. No hablo español. No hablo español. Guacho. Guacho. Have you ever tried Argentine asado, empanadas, dulce de leche? Empanadas, I remember those. Those were very good. Empanadas were very, very tasty. We enjoyed those. ¿Cuántos años tiene? I'm 64, August 2nd. El 2 de agosto cumplió 64. ¿En algún momento va a volver a Argentina? Do you think that you'll ever come back to Argentina? Yeah, maybe. It's possible. I don't know. You know, been there once. It was, you know, it was great being with my son and, and seeing the place that he lived. It was so fast. We were there for a week and yeah, I'd love to go back again just to relax and see it again and catch things that I missed the first time because it's hard to get it all in the first time. Have you ever tried mate? ¿Alguna vez probaste mate? Oh yeah, my son turned me on to that. We had some in Argentina also. And um, I don't mind it. It's a, it's a good like tea drink. Perks you up and gets you going. Dice que sí, me, me encanta, lo probé cuando estaba en Argentina. Te da mucha energía y me gusta. Me gusta, me parece genial. ¿Te interesa aprender argentino? Would you like to learn some Argentine phrases? Well, sure. I'm just, I can't even speak English. I don't know about that. <laughs> Dijo, sí, obvio. Pero a veces ni siquiera sé hablar en inglés, así que por ahí medio complicado el tema. ¿Te aceptas ser mi suegro? This is from a girl named Claudia. Would you, uh, would you like to be my father-in-law? This girl said. Well, that depends on my son. If my son loves you and wants to be your husband, you can be my daughter-in-law. <laughs> Dijo, eso depende de mi hijo. Si mi hijo te ama, si mi hijo está feliz con vos y quiere que vos seas su esposa, eh, bienvenida. ¿Tu hijo se portaba mal cuando era chico? ¿Was your son bad? ¿Was Dustin bad ever when he was younger? No, Dustin was never gave me any trouble. He was a good boy all his life. And that's part of his life now. Is he gave parents no trouble at all. Good boy. Yeah, as far as I know, he was good. <laughs> <laughs> Dijo, no, no, nunca se portó mal, siempre fue un, un buen chico y hoy en día sigue siendo un buen chico, así que nada, estoy contento por eso. ¿Ya probaste el Malbec Mendocino, el mejor vino del mundo? Have you already tried Malbec from, from Mendoza, the best wine in the world? Yes, wine we do a lot of and yes, we've had that. He's brought some home to us, we had some while we were there. Yeah, wine's good. Sí, sí, hemos probado un montón de Malbec. A nosotros nos encanta tomar vino y él siempre nos nos, nos lleva vino y, y a nosotros nos encanta. Así que, sí. ¿Alguna anécdota de Dustin cuando era chico? Algo gracioso, algo divertido, algo peligroso. Do you have any sort of like anecdote, any story that you can tell us about Dustin when he was younger that was like 
maybe funny or something that he you know he did or something that he uh, like got in trouble for or something funny. We're in Panama City around the 4th of July um, the holiday. Okay. Estamos en una ciudad que se llama Panama City. Eh, está en Florida, en la costa, en, en el Golfo, creo que se dice. Era para más o menos eh, jul, julio, what year? That's a great question. I'm not like sure. 90, 1990. It might have been 89, 90. 1990, por ahí, okay. He liked to dance. Him, him and his buddy in school, uh, they loved to dance. And uh, MC Hammer was real... Uh, Top notch then. He was on the top of the charts, and uh, my son and his buddy could could dance it. Well, we're in the pool at uh, Panama City Beach. All of a sudden, a song came on, and he started dancing on, on the pool side. And I believe it or not, everybody just stopped swimming. People on the side were watching him dance, and the people in the pool just stopped what they were doing and watched him. That's an exciting moment in, in, that I can think of that like, reminds me of him all the time. <laughs> y bueno, estábamos en el hotel en Panama City y con mi amigo y yo siempre bailábamos en las fiestas y todo, siendo chicos, ¿no? Y a nosotros nos encantaba el, el artista MC Hammer y cada vez que, que, que se escuchaba un cancion, una canción de MC Hammer siempre no, nos pusimos a bailar. Y nada, estábamos en la pileta era una, un hotel grande, ¿no? Había mucha gente en la pileta y de repente salió una canción de MC, MC Hammer y yo empecé a bailar, todo el mundo se paró a, a mirarme y verme bailar ahí al lado de la pileta, una cosa de locos, pero bueno, él siempre se acuerda, se acuerda de eso. ¿Qué, ¿Qué opinás de tu hijo y su carrera y vivir de esto de YouTube y vivir en Argentina? What do you think about your son and his career and living in Argentina and YouTube and everything? Like, what's your what's your opinion? Like, like do you do you miss him or like what do you what do you think about the whole thing? Well, we definitely miss him a whole lot. We we very proud of him and what he's accomplished as a YouTuber. I mean, you know, and then him speaking a different language is awesome. Also, I mean, I think it's real awesome that he's. Uh, succeeding at this I believe over 500,000 subscribers I think that's I, I can be proud of that for sure I mean it, it, and it but at the same time he works a whole lot at it and uh, makes it work makes it do what he's wanting to do no más o menos está muy orgulloso de mí como que que locura que tiene más que 500 mil suscriptores Está laburando duro todo el tiempo y estoy muy orgulloso. Contanos más anécdotas de Dustin cuando era chico. Tell us more stories about Dustin when he was younger. When he was a little boy, he loved climbing trees. Wow. It was one time he slipped up and he fell and he fractured his arm. And I'll never forget that moment. Mama took care of him. Cuando era chico yo me encantaba escalar árboles o subir árboles. Y bueno, una vez me equivoqué y caí del árbol y nada, fracturé mi, mi muñeco, mi muñeca, mi muñeco y bueno, mi mamá me, me cuidó y, y bueno, fue una, una lección medio grave, pero, pero bueno, sobreviví. ¿Qué se siente tener un hijo que tiene un libro en otro idioma? Like I said before, it shocks me that I have a son that's got a book and speaks a different language lives in another country and kind of like a mini celebrity in another country it just it just floors me I, I'm, I'm very proud Ah, está muy orgulloso de, se, a, a él le, le le vuela la cabeza el hecho de que su hijo tiene eh, su propio libro en otro idioma vive en otro en otro país es medio un celebrity y está súper contento Thanks, Dad Gracias You're quite welcome Espero que podamos hacer esto mucho más seguido. I hope we can do this a lot more often. Está buena, es divertida. Y le da un poco de perspectiva a la gente que me sigue cuando puede escuchar de vos. It gives people a little bit more perspective when they can hear from, from your side, you know? So, uh, thanks, man. Love you. <laughs> Close your eyes, baby. Close your eyes, feel the waves in the breeze, baby. Feel the breeze.